Alrighty guys, we're back. Think of the children. Uh, let's do some story. Was I in story last time? I have no idea. I guess we're gonna find out if it was free free play or story mode. I don't remember. Oh no, it was definitely... It was definitely not story mode. Alright, let's do story mode. We're gonna go to the park. Don't you just hate it when you go to the park with your kids and one of them decides to jump in the pool and drown. Another one somehow gets dragged away by CPS and then and then one of your kids gets dragged away by a dog. The dog breaks its neck, kills it. Uh, if you thought that wasn't bad enough, two of them just decided to go run and play games in the road. Yep, that's a uh, not good thing. That is not a good thing. Oh, goodness. Get out of there, kids. Oh, look. Look at this one on the harm, the swing. Harmless, right? No. Not harmless. Oh, God, they're in the road. <gasps> There's a CPS van. A CPS man right here. Oh god. Oh! Wait, where'd I go? I just got hit by a car. Am I dead? I am. Gotta restart. Not like running out in the road to save your children and you get hit by a car. That's alright. That's how I always knew I was gonna go. Saving somebody's life. Some people call me a uh, true hero. Idiot. That's what I am. We have to set the tables. Right? Set the tables. Hang the pinata. Tend to the barbecue. Flip a couple bergs. You know, normal day at the park. You too. No. No. Get off the swing, you little a-hole. What does this guy just ha keep hanging out by the guy in the van? I don't understand. Why? Of all the things you could be doing, why would you do that? Oh, there's a man. Trying to get my son. Ooh. Oh. We're doing well. The berries. The berries. The road. The man. Oh, the dog. I'm telling you guys, we got this one in the bag. We got this one in the bag. Get out of the pool. Get away from that man. Oh, we did it! I think we did it. I think we got a good grade on that. I flipped two burgers. That's enough for six children. Ethiopian children I have. Lucas. That one's actually my son. Rebecca Godfried. Okay, who's naming these children? Beck, Bob, Marceline. Come on, give me a good grade. We've been at this for a while now. 21, 23, 40. We got an A. Alright, just like any good day at the park, you go straight to the casino afterwards and you gamble. You gamble all of that money you were going to spend on gifts. And, oh, I see I have to press the space bar again to stop it. Let's just enjoy this moment for a second longer. Woo! Oh, what is this? A present hat? I'll take it. I love how I have an alien head. I'm a scary adult. <laughs> oh. What just happened? Oh. Okay. Now we're suddenly at 9.50 in a courtroom. Human. 
Uh, live here from Sunnydale Magistrates Court, keen onlookers are awaiting the verdict in the trial that has swept the nation. Charged with a record-breaking 438 charges of parental negligence. Along with a laundry list of other offenses that seem to change every time we ask. <laughs> we, cr we cross just as the trial is about to begin. Look. I never claimed to be an expert parent. There's a lot of things they don't teach you about being a parent as a child other than, you know, you just do the best you can. I somehow racked up 438 charges of parental negligence. Scott is my witness. I'm going to get through this. Will the parents get tired behind bars? Was it all a tragic accident? How many kids do those parents have anyway? Well, I only claim to have the one named Lucas. All these questions and more will be answered soon. We will keep you updated on the story as it unfolds. Order. Order in the court. Now, we have all just seen the prosecution. First piece of evidence. The security camera footage from the day of ill-fated barbecue. Prosecutor, what do you make of this? Your Honor, esteemed members of the jury, these parents showed a callous disregard for the health and safety of their many children. Alright, well I'm going to be honest with you guys. A little side note, right? A little off the record. Scratch it from the record. I was just trying to have a nice barbecue. These kids, for some reason, enjoyed eating poisonous berries. Playing in the road. Jumping into a pool and not knowing how to swim. I've actually done that once, so I'm not too mad about that one. Sometimes you just you just jump into a pool and you're like, you guys all look like you're having fun. Let me try that. I don't know whose dog that was. They should have euthanized the dog. And uh, the swing set. The swing set was probably dangerous as is. The CPS man, he had it out for anybody. He That might not even have been a real protective service person. That could have been a creeper. Oh man. Uh, yeah, we just live in that time. I mean, nobody actually died. Alright, yeah, see that? Nobody died. But it was all highly responsible. Irresponsible. I mean, to tell you, I've done that level like nine times, 15 times. That's the first time I've ever had nobody die. Mostly, most of the time. I usually have like two or three kids die. Goodness, what damning evidence. Also, it's worth noting that the burgers were dry and their tableware is tacky. How do you plead? Um, respond innocent, respond guilty. I. This is crazy. We did the best we I could to protect my kids. I responded uh, innocent. If there's anything I've learned my many years of the courts, it's that your eyes can play tricks on you, as can defendants. Were your kids really safe? Were you even at the park at all? Does a Bachelor of Arts qualify you for the position of judge? Life is full of questions. I get shown new pieces of evidence every single day. But do you know what the one thing that always stays the same is? That's me. I'm Mason. I'm honestly afraid to ask. It's me. No matter what else changes, I stay the same. A good judge knows that evidence is just a distraction. If you trust what your heart tells you, you'll always make the right call. I mean, I don't know about that as far as being a judge. Can we review one more? Wait, can we review more than one piece of evidence before we make you make up your mind? Sure, why not? Lunch isn't for a couple hours anyway. Prosecutor, present the next exhibit. Begin the next level. They just threw me right in. A second as you can see my last attempt was a C plus at the beach we'll do a beach level we'll do a beach level one more time I don't like the beach level it's very dangerous apply the sunscreen tend to the barbecue build a sand castle and get ice cream set up the towels and all the umbrellas 
I'm not gonna touch that barbecue once. You ever take your kids to the beach? Just be lucky they don't, uh... Oh! This kid's already in trouble. Oh, goodness. Oh, goodness. Lucas. Oh, my goodness. Jellyfish. When you're at the beach and your kid is playing with the jelly... Oh, we just had one die. Oh, we just had two die. One just got ate by seagulls. Oh, my goodness. Ah, I just lost a kid to seagulls. That's not good. I guess we're going to try to hang the umbrellas while we got the chance. Oh, I got one of the umbrellas up. Marceline went straight to the ocean. That's not a good child. Not, oh, oh. The seagulls almost tried to take a second child. I'm spamming the space bar. Oh, I got the umbrellas up. Oh, my goodness. Someone needs to clean up this beach or post a sign that says, hey. There's a... Oh, my God, a speedboat. What's that boat doing in the uh, the buoys, the buoy lines? I thought I was... I already did build a sandcastle. What do you mean, build a sandcastle? Oh, I didn't set up all the towels. What do you mean, towel? Oh, I see it. It was in the center. Grandpa lotioned up. Lucas is alive. Rebecca's alive. Gottfried is dead. Beck is dead. Picked by seagulls. Bob is alive. Marceline? The worst. Come on, let this be a C, C plus or a C minus. It's a D. Ah, oh, we didn't pass. Well, that's what they say. I can't advance to the next level until I uh, get a C minus. How do you go to the menu again? Yeah, that, that doesn't work. Whew. Well. I'm going to take some time off. I just lost two kids at the beach. You know, I, I went with a full car of six. I came home with four. <laughs> it's a, it's amazing they let me come home from the beach at all. Uh, you know, it's what it is. That's, that's, the, that's the, the trouble of uh, not being a single parent. I'm just going to say that my wife was probably uh, at work or something. She's the breadwinner of the family. Alrighty, guys. That was a quick one. I jumped in. It was probably a, a really short one, but I got to go actually cook on the grill. As always, you guys know I've been doing that lately. Like uh, 1 in the morning, 12 p.m. I've been firing up the old barbecue charcoal grill. And uh, grilling. If you're wondering, tonight's going to be burgers. And I have uh, cheesy potatoes. I might even heat up some beans, baked beans. And uh, it's going to be pretty good. If it was up to me, I'd like brats. I love brats. I can't get enough of them. But burgers are good too once in a while. You got to switch it up. Uh, I got a buddy. He's coming over. He likes to add spice, extreme spice to his burgers. Uh, sriracha, Cajun, all that good stuff. I can't do it. It's just not for me. Uh, once in a while, we do a mystery burger, which is like we patty up a bunch of hot spices in one of the burgers. And then we just like throw like 10 burgers on the grill. And like we flip them so many times and like we like you just lose track of it. And uh I'll be honest, one time I got the mystery burger. I mean, it's no mystery. You know it's going to be odd if you get it. Uh, yeah, it was it was a bad time. So, as always, I want you guys to have a good day. I'm taking off. Uh, see you in the next one. Peace. Hope the audio came in, audio came in good. I've been kind of messing with it. I don't know.